Hey everybody, today is uh, Monday and we're doing my daily vlog for the day. My name is Dr. Anthony Yoon, America's Holistic Beauty Doc. And uh, today I'm gonna talk a little bit about capsular contracture. Um, capsular contracture is something that can happen with breast implants. I'm bringing that up because I had a patient that came back today after surgery for a capsular contracture. Now this is a patient who previously had breast augmentation by a different surgeon and developed very severe contractures. Basically, capsular contracture is when the scar tissue around a breast implant gets super thick, and when it's really bad, it can even get calcified, like the shell of an egg. So this patient uh, saw me, um, gosh, it was six months ago, something like that, um, for her second surgery, but her first one uh, that we did was, um, I saw her and she had these terrible capsular contractures where her body was just rejecting these implants. So I removed the implants and did what's called a capsulectomy, where we removed the scar tissue, okay? And um, we actually left her implants out for a good six to nine months and then put, that, put new ones in after that um, because the idea is that if you can get back to normal, get your body back to normal, uh, we can hopefully clear that uh, any bacteria that might be contributing to a capsular contracture and new implants being nice and soft. So we did the surgery and everything went well. I saw her back today. How many months was she out, Karen? Um, three. Three months. And her breasts are nice and soft and natural and is doing really well. So what I wanted to do, um, based off her story, is talk to you a little bit about what a capsular contracture is. This is a breast implant, okay? And um, the most common complication from breast implants is excess scar tissue. That's a capsular contracture. Now, we grade capsular contracture on a scale of one to four. A grade one is soft and natural, feels natural, it passes the hug test, you hug somebody and they don't know you have implants. Uh, grade two is slightly firm, grade three is definitely firm, uh, and grade four is rock hard. So this patient had grade four capsular contractures and they were even calcified. Now the risk of capsular contracture is variable and it depends on how the surgery is done. There's certain things that a surgeon can do to lower the risk of this happening. So if you or somebody you love is thinking about breast implant surgery, um, there are numerous steps that the doctor can take to reduce the risk of it. The reason why we develop capsular contractures, we don't know exactly why it happens. Um, the first reason though, and the most common thing we think is called a biofilm. A biofilm is bacteria that can coat the surface of a breast implant not so much bacteria as to create an infection or an abscess, but enough bacteria to coat the surface of an implant and to cause the body to react to it and to scar around it. Um, that once again is called the capsular contracture. Um, if that happens, and now in my practice for new patients, we see it about 2% of the time, which is pretty consistent with some of the big studies of doctors who are really taking all the steps possible to prevent this from happening. Um, so if it does happen to you, the question is, is how do you treat it? Well, the traditional way of treating it is something that I don't really recommend. It's called a capsulotomy, where you take that scar tissue that envelops the implant and you cut holes in it basically to allow that scar tissue to re-expand and some doctors will put the old implant back in. That's how it was done 15, 20 years ago routinely. Um, should not be done that way today. So doctors who are still doing capsulotomies and still using the same implant are not doing the right thing in general for that patient. And it's because we think that capsular contracture is caused by the biofilm, the bacteria. So what happens if you take an implant out of somebody and they have a capsular contracture and there's this biofilm on it, even if you try to wash it off, if you put it back in, it likely still has that bacteria on the surface and you're probably going to develop rehardening again. And that's why a capsulotomy with using the same implant is in general and not the best idea for treating these types of complications. So instead what we want to look at is called a capsulectomy. A capsulectomy is a surgery where we remove most if not all of the scar tissue surrounding that implant. So once again, you've got that scar tissue, it's contracted around the implant, a capsulectomy, removes that scar tissue, most if not all of it, to basically start over again, and ideally a new implant is put into the breast. Um, you wash the heck out of, the, out of that area, and most patients find that that capsular contracture does not come back. Okay, so at minimum, if you have a capsular contracture, your surgeon should 
perform a capsulectomy. And um, if they're gonna put, if you're gonna put a new implant in, then you wanna do it with a new one, not using the old one, okay? Well, what else can you do? Okay, well, there's one other step that you can do in some patients where um, they have developed capsular contractures, let's say over and over again, their body just doesn't seem to like implants. In addition to doing a capsulectomy, you can also play something called stratus. Stratus, as gross and as weird as this may sound, is radiated pig skin. And if you put radiated pig skin in with the implant when you're doing a capsulectomy, then the risk of that capsular contracture coming back is much, much lower, okay? And so for those patients who have excessive scar tissue around their implants, and let's say they've had a capsulectomy or a capsulotomy, it has rehardened again, what can they do? Well, short of removing the implants, which is always an option, uh, you can do that capsulectomy again and put stratus in with it. That's off-label, okay? The FDA hasn't approved it for a capsular contracture, but the risk of that capsular contracture coming back is much, much lower, and it's uh, considered a salvage operation, okay? So put it very simply, capsular contracture is excess scar tissue that can build up around the implants. Everybody has scar tissue around their implants. Most of the time it's so soft you don't even know it's there. The old technique of doing a capsulotomy, opening up the scar tissue, especially if you keep the same implant, bad idea. Okay, you need to at least do a capsulectomy, remove that scar tissue, and put a new implant in. And if you wanna take that extra step, then placement of stratus is the extra step to take. The negative with stratus, though, is it's extremely expensive. Okay, and so you wanna take that into account. So just wanted to jump on with you real quick, talk a little bit about the general treatments for capsular contracture, the most common complication of breast implant surgery. Feel free to leave comments and questions on this. There's so much more about breast implants to know about. ALCL, textured implants, BII. Um, you know, stick with me. I'm going to be covering all that type of stuff on these daily vlogs. I hope you had a great day today. And like I said, leave a question and I'll try to get to them possibly on tomorrow's vlog. I'll try to do this every day during the weekdays if I can. Dr. Anthony Yoon, America's Holistic Plastic Surgeon. If you're watching this, uh, subscribe, like. I appreciate it, and we'll give you a lot more great information very soon. Thank you.